welcome. In this video, I will guide you how you can easily use Agile CRM. The first thing that you want to do is when you're going to be in Agile CRM is register. Now, if you already own the account, guys, completely skip this step. OK, so I'm going to copy the address here. I will paste it, enter the email and try for free. Now here I will add a domain. And my domain is Sun we one full name Marcus Stone email address the user ID and password and not I'm not a robot then click sign up okay and let's just wait until it's going to load and then we'll go further of course you're gonna get also the welcome Gmail to agile CRM and you're always going to have the URL, definitely save the email that you're going to get from Agile CRM so you can know the, U the URL and username. Now, in the moment when you're going to enter, then you have to choose a plan. So if you want to go regular, starter, free or enterprise, that's completely up to you which one you're going to choose. Then users, how many people are going to be with you? Let's say I'm going to two role what is your role i'm a ceo company type and i'm um, marketing agency and phone number and then let's click let's go now let's just wait until it loads and then i'm going to give you a walkthrough like what you can actually find in agile crm i don't want to schedule demo if you want to you can schedule the demo then you can also invite your users right here. But I'm going to show you how you will invite the users in the future. But of course, you can invite colleagues right here, sales, and you can add multiple addresses. Pretty simply, pretty easily. Now you see right here, you are currently on free plan. And if you want, you can proceed to pay and choose the enterprise version or go regular. For this tutorial, we are going to use the free version so I can give you all the basics, what you can get, what we can learn from uh, Agile CRM and Agile CRM sales. Now, if you want in the future, guys, I can create also a tutorial for Agile marketing and Agile service. And I can easily do it for you. So let me down below in the comments if you would like for me to create it. Now, what we will learn in Agile CRM. You don't have to click for anything right now. Just watch what I will show you in this video. We will first start with the companies and contacts, how we can actually create them. So we are going, we will create company, then we will create contacts for the company. Then we will be creating deals. Then we will be also showing you how we can add documents, inbox of messages, online calendar, activities, this can be like tasks, calls, etc. And then you're going to see also reports here and automations. Of course, what you can do always is to go to the right and click on add and you can add everything here. So we can add company deal, even task, note, email, ticket, call, document directly on the top right or top left. We can search for stuff here then we're gonna see the calendar that we can use what is actually happening tasks what needs to be done and then also new here like this is a startup point so also what you can do and this is like the next thing that i want to show you is you can go to top right and go to settings and set up settings here like changing a name changing the avatar reminders advanced like changing the date format time zone name format language so that's the basic stuff that i recommend to do now when you got it all let me show you the basics and let me show you how we can add contacts in agile crm so you want to click on a contact and now you can import those contacts or you can go to top right add a contact of course, when you're going to have the contacts here, we can remove the tags, add to campaign when you're going to choose. On the right side, you would see filters that you can use for searching for contacts. So I will click here, add a contact. Here, first name, let's say Marcus contact, title none, company name. Now, 
as you can see we can't find it right now no results with uh, the new one okay so that will be our new company email address contact marcus gmail.com phone number and then i can also text youtube because it's a youtube company and then i can go also with youtube channel and whatever text you want and then like press what do you have to do i don't know how it's called in english you have to press this when after you put the word in then click save and voila here we got our own first contact you see right here tags contacts on the left side i can also straight away in my contact add a note i can add a task add a deal i can add it to campaign i can duplicate it i can merge the duplicates then also right here i can next to the timeline click on the notes and write some notes for me and for the client for the contact that i have i can see events what is actually happening and after guys after we're gonna go over companies and deals i'm going to show you how we can do everything for just the contact tasks deals and campaigns because i want to show you how we can do the deal directly without uh, going through the contact but i will show you how we can do then also for the contact and you're gonna see also web stats here mail you can send mail to marcus and you would see it right here so this is how we can create a contact let me just show you now how we can easily start and how we can create a company so i'm going to click on a company right here and then again top right add a company name a uh, sanwi company i can add a url i can simply continue the editing if i want to and here i can add url tags email for the company add phone website address so You can select country and everything so we can fill up everything here and then click update and voila here you have everything you can add under the company you can then add contacts i can simply click here add an existing contact and i can search for marcus contact contact is already mapped to sunway llc do you want to change it yes for sure click save and voila, here we have contacts. And what I can do, I can simply create deals and everything for the contact, or what you can do is you can create it directly for the company. The whole setup of the contact and for the company is same. Deals, notes, etc. So then when we go further, I am going to show you how you can simply add and create a deal. Creating a deal is again pretty simple and pretty easy. So I can click add deal here. And now deal name, let's say Sun Deal. Owner is me. Value, let's say 10,000. Probability of the deal, let's say this is going to be 25%. Milestone, if it's going to be prospect, proposal, one lost. Close date. Let's say 31st, deal source, if it's going to be website referral ads. Now close date, when did you want to like close it? Website referral ads and type you can change the color and now you see right here the milestone you can also change the milestones in the settings of course let's say it's a proposal or prospect contact name relate to so i'm going to add marcus so it's related to this contact and then we would be able to find a deal 
right under Marcus. And then you can add also description and tags here. Let's click save here. Now, when you have it, as you can see, look at this. We have our own deal. Really simple, really easy. I can sort it by created date, close date, one date value. Deals, my deals, manage filters. Or I can simply also change the list view, like the Kanban view to list view. Or relaxed, compact, fit. You choose yours, which one view you want. You can of course go to top right and you can add a dash slot here. And you can add a contact list. So that's what you can do. But I won't really go into this because I want to show you the basics first, then I will go further into advanced stuff. So you see that you can simply move from the deals as much as you want. And let me show you the one thing how we can change the deal and how we can uh, like create a new the whole way here. So I would go here and let's see, I would click more. And let me just find it because I never did it in the past. So preferences, custom fields, deals, add. Here it is. So you want to go to top right and then admin settings and deals. And here you will be able to find new prospect proposal one lost. And the milestone, I can simply add uh, presentation, execute it. I can click add and I can simply move it. Now back when I would go to deals, I can also change the loss of reasons here, sources, goals. So you can really optimize it as much as you want it. Products, and you can add a product here. So let's, when I'm going to click on a deal, See, proposal prospect, and then I'm going to have list view, click on a deal. And you would be able to find it here and you can edit the deal as much as you want, right? So see, milestone presentation executed. Changed, update. When I would click on a deals, Top right to relaxed. And it's not here because it's need to like filter it out and seen. And then um, you would see it right here. So this is how we do it. Now, when I would go back to the uh, contacts, I can see my contact. And furthermore, what I'm going to show you how we can add an event. And I'm going to show you how we can do all these things. So how to actually add a task. You want to click on a task on the top right, call click add task, task name, sound task. I can add simply category, call, email, follow up meeting, milestone, owner, if it's going to be market stone, sales, priority, normal, high, low. Status yet to start in progress incomplete. Again, you can change these tasks in admin settings. So yet to start. Related to con contact name. Let's say this is going to be a contact. And also related to company. Related deals. Sound deal. And then click save. Voila. This is how you can do it. Now, when I would click simply on my contact and I would click on the tasks, I can find my sun task right here. And this is pretty much it, how we can do it, right? Pretty simply, pretty easy. This is how we can add a task and you would see it right here. Sun task and you can edit the task right here and change the priority, the status to in progress complete. Now, when we go further, what I can find, you can also find tasks here. 
if you would go like with this Marcus and you can find a contact. Now, when I would go to top right, you can also the same way create an event. Event under deal, even name can be uh, lunch. Priority again, I would change if it's a higher, normal, low. Then I got to see the status here. I can go from completed, rescheduled, canceled, canceled, no show. Owner is me. Start date, end date. When it's going to start, when it's going to end. And related to if it's a contact name, related deals. So this is really similar to having a task. Contact name is going to be Marcus. Sunway LLC related deals Sun and everything what I'm adding right now I would simply find it then also click save and voila here we have our own in calendar what is actually happening so that's really simple really easy Uh, you want to go to top right and this way you can add also note and this is where you can find a note and add a note not only here but you can add it wherever you want to whatever contact and you can also add a call and document so let's add a call here and i'm going to show you how we can simply add a call we need to also figure out the widget and add a call script briar ring central so these are the ways how we can add a call to and top right you can add a document and that's what we are like little bit of finishing what you can do with agile crm it's kind of like limited from my perspective from my opinion so under the deals i'm going to find documents here and I can add a document and upload it. So that's the way how we can do it. And yeah, you can find also the activities here, what was happening. And it's pretty much it. So this was a quick tutorial on how we can use the Agile CRM. Um, then in home, you would find all the sales, deals, calls, tasks. You know how it goes, you know how it is. So thank you very much, guys, for watching. And have a great day. And goodbye. See ya.